Ready? Thanks. I've been in Korea now for five days. Uh, the first three days was for the ADAPT course, uh, the level one. Um, there was a great bunch of guys on that course, really passionate about parkour and really passionate about um, coaching. So it's been really nice to spend time with those guys, all 14, 15 of them. Um, you get to know the way they train, uh, what their inspirations are for coaching, uh, where they want to go in the future. So the first three days we spent getting to know those guys and delivering the course. Uh, we had a great time. It was a good effort, uh, effort from the guys. Um, and they've really improved as coaches over the course as well. So that was the first three days. And over the last two days we've been running a seminar uh, for about 65 people um, all around Korea. It's been great fun to get to know those guys too. There's a lot of passion, a lot of dedication in the group. They really train very seriously, which is great. Um, and we've been very happy to bring a lot of new idea, ideas to those guys. A lot of new methods of training and little tips here and there to improve their ability. Uh, so it's been very rewarding for us to be here and deliver that to the community. Um, and hopefully we can come back soon and, and do more, because we've already enjoyed it, so great. And special thanks to Jiho, he's been very useful, very helpful. So it was uh, re really nice to meet a new community, Korean Tracer, uh, here in Korea, in Seoul. Um, we can see that the Korea parkour community is really young, a lot of young people. But also the movement, their movement is really young as well, so we can you can see that it's been practiced here very for not, not so long, for a very short amount of time. Um, but we had a lot of good energy, good spirit. Uh, people trained really hard and really disciplined. So I'm sure within a few years, uh, the level is going to be really, really good. Um, I hope we manage to, to help those you know, new generation and they can uh, learn from us and, and, and that can benefit their training so they can train safe. And so and they can last as well and uh, progress safely. Uh, on the whole, it was a really, really nice trip. We enjoyed, uh, beside training, we enjoyed the food, we enjoyed the city, we enjoyed um, uh, discovering different culture. Um, a lot of new guys who are very young and are very passionate about training. And it's great to see. They come with a lot of energy and they bring a lot of new ideas. It's really, really great. So a lot of good stuff coming through now, which is amazing. People are progressing very fast too, so they're starting off very quickly and learning five things in the first day and then going from there. It's really, it's really good stuff. Um, I just really like to see uh, those guys try and try and withhold some of the values that have always been there in parkour as well. So it's not just about the big jumps, and it never has been. So it's really important that that message is passed along to the new generation too. Um, so where parkour came from is a group of guys just trying to be strong. Um, it's like, uh, that was kind of there first. Um, and right now people come into the sport and they just see a lot of people who are doing big, big jumps. They don't really see the training that goes on behind that, so the amount of hours those guys train for. Um, so it's really important that at least some guys there to pass that message on of how to be strong, how to train properly, how to work physically and get stronger for the body and for the mind, uh, so that you be protected from the, from the injuries basically. So parkour is quite a high impact practice, and a lot of uh, landings and movement and, and twisting. So unless you're very strong, you can get injured quite easily. So without that training, without that physical training, that side of it, uh, people don't last very long. So I'd really like to see that being passed on more uh, by coaches around the world. Uh, I think it's very, very important. So I think um, the message of parkour can be, can be lost quite quickly from the outside. When you watch parkour, it's hard to understand what's actually going on, why that person's training. Because um, from, a, from a purely physical point of view, when you watch it, you see some guy doing some jumps and you don't really know what's going on. So you don't really see the hours of practice that person's put into learning those techniques. Uh, you don't see the hundreds of hours spent at ground level practicing the same techniques to make sure you're safe before you go to height. Um, so it can look quite dangerous from the outside. And parkour is no more dangerous than any other sport. It is less dangerous than a lot of sports, uh, statistically. So um, it's very important to realize that in parkour you're using just your body. So you're constantly getting feedback from your body to your brain to let you know if you're getting tired, if you're likely to get injured, if muscles are tight. You can control the element of risk by being sensible and knowing when to stop. Uh, there's no other equipment, so we're not using a board or a bike or anything like that that can break on us. It's very much a, um, a lot of feedback to the body about how it feels. So that, that, it's one way of keeping you safe. Uh, other ways of keeping you safe is just to always make sure you train in a holistic way, you're training many different methods, you're making sure you're physically strong, your muscles are in balance. You stretch enough to make sure you're supple enough. So it's a lot of ways that happen. There's a lot of ways of training that keep you safe in parkour. Um, the, the biggest 
risk really in parkour is like pushing too much too soon. So it's, it's very safe to practice parkour, very safe to begin, very gradual, uh, as long as you're sensible and have a, a really safe approach. Um, so the, the good way to pass that message on is just to practice sensibly in your own time in Korea. Um, and as a community, just try and make sure you communicate the message to the other people too. Spend time writing articles, making YouTube videos with interviews, um, communicate with people, talk to them about parkour. When they ask questions, really spend time talking to them, explaining the discipline. Not just that we do some jumps, uh, but where it came from, the history of it. Uh, that will really help to spread the message. But it has to be a group effort, it can't be with one person. Thank you very much, and thank you for your hard work, Blake. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Ah, very good message. Thank you. Yes. I will send the video clip. Okay. Ah, two, three, four. This is my hand. This is my hand. This is my hand. This is my hand. How do you think about it? How do you think about it? How do you control it? Discovering different culture. Okay. Good. <laughs> okay.